My study, the Chemo Gut Study, looks at how treatments for cancer affects the gut microbiota. A lot of cancer survivors have long-term gastrointestinal issues and mental health issues. I suffered a lot after my cancer diagnosis and I didn't want other people to suffer as much as I did. I was 18. I was having voice issues and pain in my throat for about two years. So I finally saw a specialist. He explains that they think I have cancer. So they did a few biopsies and I was actually diagnosed with stage four laryngeal cancer. For me, it shattered my identity. The things I planned to do with my life, I couldn't do anymore because I didn't have voice anymore. After treatments, people think that you just ring a bell and you just go back to your life, but you're not the same person after cancer treatments. So I want to be able to present. I used to really enjoy presenting, but I can't. Sometimes I use text-to-speech software. And it's okay, but a human voice is better. So that's how we started presenting together. We present at conferences together. We won a few awards. We realized, okay, let's get on each other's research. Let's collaborate. So she does work with me and I do work with her and it's just this amazing thing. So we're friends on the outside and then we're scientists and we present together as well. I love her so much. She's such a dear friend of mine, but also we're such great scientists together. We have this rhythm um, and we help each other out. With me, I'm a, I'm a physiologist. I look at surgery, the chemo, the radiation, and I think that's it. But with Julie coming in with her work, it brings in a whole different aspect that I wouldn't have thought about. So it's important to listen to your body. And if you get the sense that something is wrong, you need to keep advocating for yourself.